All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and of course on YouTube as well if you're watching this in the future. We are going to try something a little different. We're going to try to uh, duplicate a lot of bio biogenic oozes. So we got quasi dupla ooze. That is our deck for today. We'll see how it works. Um, we just built this here on stream. We have, uh, you know, started with like, you know, like 70 cards or whatever, cut it down. This is where we're at. I think we may be kind of missing a Dream Eater. Maybe a Frilled Mystic or Hadonis Climb could be a Dream Eater. But we'll see. Um, uh, yeah, let's just kind of kind of play and uh, see what happens. And kind of try to see how good Biogenic Ooze is. How good is this? Well, let's let's see. Thanks, Timido. Biogenic Ooze. How many Oozes can we make? What do y'all think will be like the record for number of oozes in any of our games? How many oozes do do y'all think we're, we're gonna have? I'm thinking like, do you think we're gonna get over ten oozes, ten or more oozes in one game? No, like they're probably, they're probably dead by then, right? Hmm. All right, we got some Frilled Mystics. This card's great. I really like Frilled Mystic. I'm just eating some pizza. So a lot of people thinking it's under 10. Most people are in like the six range. Mike with a reset for the 28th month in a row. That gets some hype. Thank you so much, Mike. All right, that's sub number 19. If we get one more sub, we are Gonna be cracking open a Ravnica Allegiance pack. So hopefully we get there. But some people are going a little more. Some people are saying like 12. We don't really have incentive to just play the Jade Light out here, I don't think. Countered it. Woo! Frilled Mystic. So good. Take that, opponent. Tilt. Alright, we're dead. We had a good run. Brass. Ah, we need Vivian, not Brass. We need Vivian. Vivian, where are you at? Frilled Mystic, why'd I cast you so early on just a moment of craving? I would have much rather countered a Nicol Bolas. See, our opponent also just got us because they didn't have... Uh, did they have the red mana out? I don't think they had the red mana out, right? Like, didn't they just have, like, black and... Blue and black mana at the time? I think they just had Memorial, Drowned Catacomb, Swamp. And so I wasn't necessarily just considering... Yeah, they had no red mana, so I wasn't really just thinking just Nicol Bolas is the next turn. They got it. They got me. There's different reasons to adapt right away and to also not adapt right away. Like there's, yeah, there's different reasons to, to wait or to or to adapt immediately. Having some pizza. Huh. If we don't adapt right away, we risk not actually getting our creature out. If we get it right away, we risk like a discard spell taking it.
I think if they would have had Ritual of Soot, they would have played it before, so. Like when we had like the three things. Could mean they have a Star of Extinction, which would be really annoying. Certainly waiting on this <clears throat> on this chamber guardian to adapt it, you know, after we discard a card to the Eldest Reborn. And discard a card to their nickel balls coming back into play. Oh, I need to change the the stream title. Quasi duple ooze. <laughs> it's basically Mardu Angels, if you really think about it. We're getting there. So I'm just going to create a copy of Frilled Mystic. Because it doesn't die to... I can also just wait. No, I think we, we just get another copy. Frilled Mystic doesn't die to... Okay, that's fine. Doesn't die to Ritual of Soot. Okay, they're at three. They get one creature. So they're just going to grab Nicol Bolas again. Okay, that can block one of my creatures. And that's it! Quasi duplicate ooze with the win to start with. It's only game one, though. Still got to win games two or three. Alright, Shaper Sanctuary is probably pretty great. I like me some negates. We'll get extra Vivian. Um, Rex Sage for all these Eldest Reborns and Search for Cantas. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian is so good. So good. I don't know. All right, so the problem... So one thing about a quasi-duplicate deck against re really removal-heavy decks like this, I actually am taking out quasi-duplicate. So I know that's, that's kind of a bummer. Um, but... They just have instant speed removal that they respond to the quasi duplicate with a removal spell, and it's it's not good for us. Um, and then I think we're at Land War Elf Incubation Druid, one of the one of these two. I guess Incubation Druid can get bigger, and they kind of have to answer it. The Land War Elf lets us go out pretty quickly. Reclamation Sage does kill Eldest Reborn, yes. And it does kill Search for Iskanta. I play one over the other Incubation Druid. Oh, right. Carnage Tyrants. Carnage Tyrants are in our deck, aren't they? Those should probably be in here. <laughs> Taking out the Explore creatures is a terrible idea. Alright. Yeah, actually, let's just cut Land War Elf. Actually, I'm, I'm in for cutting Land War off. And then let's get a Druid. Let's get two Druid, one Rex Sage in there. We also have Vivians, of course, that they cut that. Yeah, the Land War Elves are really bad draws later. And they're just a 1-1. One, one. I'm just going to cut those. Maybe I couldn't have cut the... Maybe I made the curve a little too high.
Yeah, Incubation Druid is really good with Adonis Climb. I agree. And so is Growth Chamber Guardian. The one guild gate, so we can have. I mean, basically, I think we just wanted a ninth dual land uh, just to make the mana real good, um, especially with quasi duplicate being a double blue card that costs three mana. Us having like Jade Light Ranger and all the other double green stuff, and like we w we need a whole lot of green sources, but then also just having a card like that that you want a lot of blue, because even at, like at six mana, you can double spell with the quasi duplicate if you have enough. Um. Hmm. Blue mana. This is very risky. If we leave up Mystic, our opponent... Our opponent does not. They just attack and pass immediately. And then we, we won't get to do anything with Frilled Mystic. So so that's why I, I didn't love the, the just attack, the, the just pass, because Frilled Mystic doesn't get anything. But we got the ooze. We're oozing for a bruising. Rekindling Phoenix is a great card against us, for sure. It's going to be a hard one to beat. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. I don't think I really have anything good for this Rekindling Phoenix. Honestly. Why not de destroy Ascanta? Because then Viv Vivian would be dead immediately if we destroyed Ascanta. Kind of need this Vivian around. I need to, uh, I don't know, found s s be able to minus Vivian on this Phoenix and then also find something for the token. Okay, so you've got claws. I just, I don't know how we're going to beat the Phoenix, honestly. The Phoenix is a great card against us. One more to ego. You can't stop me. In this matchup, Kato. Kato, thank you so much for that sub. That is sub number twenty on the day. That means we are going to be opening up a pack after this. Yeah, Wild Growth Walker would be good against Phoenix. Also, being on the play is good against Phoenix. You know, they just had Phoenix on turn four on the play. Usually, you know, like if if they're not on the play and have Phoenix a little later in the game, like we're fine. Not bad. Just Phoenix turn four Very on the nice. play was certainly rough for us. All right, can new Raptor Legion's back in a bit. Thanks, Kato Rain. Thank you. Thank you. I played a land, right? Yeah, maybe Ooze can race Phoenix. Is that possible? Has to kill in like two turns? Doesn't seem super po possible.
Don't think that's very possible. Um, maybe, maybe refresh the stream if Deckmaster is not working for you. Or, I think, I think Deckmaster is like an application you can like close and reopen or something maybe. I don't, I don't know too much about Deckmaster. Somebody probably, some, there's probably a viewer here that maybe has a good idea. All right, we were on a multi five. Remember that game? Um, I'm actually gonna just take the Carnage Tyrants out and get more Rex Sages in the deck. <clears throat> I don't really want the six mana card with all these Eldest Reborns. Also. I like negate more than syncopate. I like negate a lot. Um, yeah, I'm happy with negate. Hmm. So I could have I could have just held up Frilled Mystic there by shocking in and passing. But like we don't have any pressure on our opponents. They don't really need to do anything. This works out really well for us. Would you Quasi Duplu like is about nothing. to be one to know. That's looking good. It's looking good! Quasi Dupla Ooze. Unfortunately, the two games we did not cast an ooze, we won, and the one game we cast an ooze, we lost. But those those have no correlation. Uh, that was just a complete coincidence. All right, we got to 20 subs on the day, so let's get a pack. Sorry, every five subs, we're getting a pack. I really do appreciate all the support. And all the people subscribing. Of course, everybody here watching as well. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And, of course, we get a Frilled Mystic. Obviously. Let's see what our rare is. Lavinia. All right. Yeah, that's what I meant. Correlation, not causation. Okay, want to know. Can we get to five wins also with quasi dupla ooze? Who knows? Oh, right. And then up next, we're going to have Jund Midrange. That was our other deck that was voted. We did a vote. So we're going to make a Jund Midrange, which is... The Jund Midrange is going to be... I think we're going to go, like, real Rakdos heavy. What just happened? Has, did this ever happen to anyone else before? I mean, I have to count it because that's part of the record. We're in a league here, so we're 2-0 in the league. 
I'm not doing like 1F matches and stuff. Um, where you can find the previous decks though, um, there you go. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Okay, so that was a disconnected opponent. Hmm. Quasi Ooze is so good, people just leave immediately. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten a faster win than that before. Is that what they're talking about when they're talking about like grinding fast decks on arena? Is that is that what they're talking about? All right, well that's one less coil for the ooze. <laughs> agro agro ooze wins on turn zero. Yeah, I've seen that a couple times. The draw that that usually means like. It didn't actually pair you against anybody. It couldn't find like a, a good pairing, so just got it was just a draw. Ooh, is this is this Naya Value? I think we're playing against Naya Value. Yeah, playlist is you can my playlist is on Spotify. It's right there. If you want to. Take a look. Also, always uh, taking more suggestions for things to add. No. Bad Jade Light. Get out of here. Man, I feel like this deck is really just oozing with jokes that I can make about the names of it. I have an RPTQ in two weeks. Which deck would you suggest? I really like aggro, red black aggro, and Esper Mardu tokens. What do you think? I like the red black aggro quite a bit. Um. Yeah, good. Yeah, go with Kate, red black aggro. I like it. It's honestly probably better to play Vivian here, but well, maybe it's not. What are your thoughts on what decks will be top tier during next standard season? I'm not. I'm honestly not exactly sure yet. You know, like we're just so early into the format right now. It seems like there's just so many uh, things you can be doing. Um, you know, it's it's tough to say what's going to be top tier. Um, there. You know, like, right now, kind of the parameters of the format are, like, the, uh, like, mono red aggro or, like, Rakdos aggro, you know, like, the, the red aggro decks, and then, like, the, and then, like, your Wilderness Reclamation Nexus of Fate deck, and kind of everything, like, in between, and so you kind of have to be good enough at stopping the red deck and also being able to defeat the Nexus of Fate deck kind of thing. Um, if you're trying to be in the middle, or, or of course you can be on one of those ends of the spectrum as well. Yeah, we are playing against, we're playing against Naya Value. It's awesome. I think people are just playing other things with, instead of Golgari currently. But I do think Golgari is still top tier, yes. But I think people are just kind of trying out hell to lose. other that decks. That can't help you now. All right, so unfortunately, the Vivian Reed is going to die by the hands of a Siege Gang Commander. There's a Quasi Duplicate. All right, um, no attacks. Oozes just get bigger over time. So next turn we can make an ooze and Quasi Duplicate. So next turn we have four right now, so it's going to be five, uh, six. 
and a seven. So we're gonna have seven oozes. So the people said that no more than six. I'm not sure what to add to the Golgari deck from the from the last set. Um, the two mana Guardian certainly seems growth growth chamber Guardians certainly seems worth it. That card's just amazing. I would think that would go in the Golgari deck. All right, Vivian down. I'll be back, just like before. So I can well, so this is what I can play quasi duplicate once which makes two oozes, and then I also activate to make another ooze. So we have seven oozes. Dude, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Every, every end step put three 1-1 one -one counters on all these things? That's pretty good. All right, and we know we're drawing another Biogenic Ooze next turn. This is another Biogenic Ooze. All right, a Poda can't handle it. <laughs> You're getting it everywhere. So much Ooze. All right, so our opponent is playing Naya Value. Why not attack? I don't know. Is he just going to get bigger the next turn? Oh, do, do we have eight out? Or was it seven? I think we had seven, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we had seven out right there. Um, so I think the only card I'd want to really play is another Vivian. Yeah. So, Ooze record right now is 7. Unfortunately, we are going to be able to get another 3 into play the next turn also. It was going to be 10 the next turn, but our opponent conceded. Okay, I'm gonna have to mulligan here, but we do have like one land incubation druid, and it's like, what if we draw another land? I don't think we have to mulligan though. Ugh. I mean, this is a key, but we now need to draw like the two and three mana things. I think red black aggro is gonna be looking really good. I, uh,. I think it has a lot of good cards, like Theater Horrors is awesome. Judith is great. <laughs> Somebody thought erasured you, you activated Chaos Wand into a negate and they rage quit. Wow. That's pretty fortunate. Yes, we, we all know that Prime Speaker Vanifar is a news. This is also not a Prime Speaker Vanifar deck. We don't have like the creatures to sacrifice to put in other creatures kind of thing. I have not played any aristocrat style decks yet. That's on the on the docket for tomorrow. Um, Judith with war bosses is, is certainly very good. I like that too. What if I would have just frilled Mystic and blocked the WoW Growth Walker? Maybe I should have just done that. I would like them to Lava Coil this frilled Mystic.
Because I don't want them to... Uh, to get rid of the Biogenic Ooze. Let's play Vivian first. It would be nice to be able to... Um, play I Ooze and Quasi-Duplicate on the same turn. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of feeling. Like, I would just want to wait till 8 mana, 2 more turns, and then go Ooze, Duplicate. Meet mm. my newest friend. Now they have a Vivian Reed going. So this costs five to like play this and adapt it. It's gonna cost five, six, seven. So strike we have me, and the right number of mana nature. for those two. Come to me. Hmm. Decklists are on Stream Decker. Hmm. They just take the land. No. And then I'm going to go with the Guardian over the Branch Walker here because we can threaten another 4 4 next turn. We can basically threaten two 4 4 attackers to their Vivian. Meet my newest friend. I wish this thing was a news. Also, their Vivian's just going to ultimate before ours is going to ultimate. <laughs> the shuffling sound is really good, isn't it? What is this attack about? I don't even know. Gotcha. Why am I not main phase? Thank you. Balance comes. Okay, and let's let's start doing what we came here to do. This is what we came here to do. Get some biogenic oozes. You can't stop. We're even good against nature. Clarion now. So they. They could potentially ultimate Vivian next turn if I don't get to attack it down here. <laughs> Do you have a degree in oozology? <laughs> All right, no other. Just kind of testing this out here. Do they have instant speed removal? No other creatures for blockers. Yeah, I certainly like ooze activation or frilled mystic. Yep. The wilds are my shield. Alright, we got Vivian. Vivian down. Vivian Not down. Again. Nah, they, they need, they're not playing settle. Now we get to ooze it up. Ooze it up. Ooze it up.
They could certainly have Star of Extinction. That could certainly be a card. But thankfully, we got this Frilled Mystic. Dude. Ooze Duplicate is about to be 3 and 0. Oh. We are 3 and 0, oh, even though it's really 2 and 0. Oh. We, we won a game that we didn't really play. But in the record books, in the league, we are 3 and 0. Oh. And that time, we got to do what we wanted to come here to do. Man, Biogenic Ooze, when you start playing a bunch of them, it gets, gets pretty gross. <laughs> hey, Trish. Okay, yeah, you added the Siege Game Commander. I like the Siege Game Commander. Yeah. Yeah, good games. Yeah, I like, you know, love me some Naya Value, but your draw wasn't too good there. That second game, and then our the first game just kind of ran over. Thanks, Trish. How are you liking the Night Value deck, though? Kind of in general. How are you doing with it? Quasi duplicate with Siege Game Commander and Rhythm of the Wild. Well, Rhythm of the Wild's only riot for non non token creatures. Your tokens don't get riot. <clears throat> oh, Hawkeye, you do not get my pizza. Sorry, Hawkeye. Vivian. Ooh. I like that they got rid of Vivian. I like that. I'm gonna say no attacks. Just past the turn. We really like to have two blue mana to be able to quasi duplicate the uh, the Jade Light here, but I should just play the breeding pool. I should just played breeding pool here. That that's my mistake. I did I just kind of thought about this like right after. I should just played breeding pool. And wait wait till next turn where I can have dive down up for the ooze. Alright, well my plan was to quasi duplicate the their J Light Ranger. But now we got this. Now we don't need to use the quasi duplicate. But yeah. So I basically took two damage there that I didn't need to if I would have just played the, the breeding pool and tapped. Oh, I can I can easily beat Carnage Tyrant. Vivian is the, Vivian's the thing I'm most worried about. I'd wild animals I like. People, not so much. I guess finality is going to be difficult. Actually, uh, that's not really that difficult easy, either. Biogenicus just gets bigger than it just gets bigger than Carnage Tyrant. Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice, we got a hit in there. You have to do better than that. All right, Biogenicus, it's starting. Who's a duplicate? Oh, opponent's decision to kill Elf. I mean, I'm not doing anything with my mana. It's not like like the Jade Light doesn't really matter no there. I think the Elf the is the, the correct thing to kill there. Um, the the three two doesn't really matter, and if I'm not doing anything, that means that I'm waiting for more mana, and so they're just slowing me down a turn. Um, all right, and the dive down coming through clutch. 
That's a clutch dive down. All right, let's get a blue source. Come on, blue source. Blue. Oh, yes. Here we go. All right, let's uh, quasi-duplicate this. And maybe quasi-duplicate that. All right, have this attack Vivian. I guess we just make sure that Vivian's gone if we just attack with both of these, even though they get to trade with my ooze. Raspin with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Survive. You'll see. That gets some hype votes in chat. All right, and now our creatures are so big that finality doesn't do anything because we got three oozes in play, so they all got three 1-1 counters. So now we don't even have to worry about finality. Seven is the record of oozes so far, I think. I think seven's still the record. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so we're playing against Golgari. Um. Dude, that dive down was great. No, the pizza's not for you, Hawkeye. No, pizza's not for you. Ugh, pizza's for me. Do I... Hadana is not that useful, don't you think? No, Hadana's climb could certainly be useful in this kind of matchup. Like, they could have, like, a bunch of life and a bunch of explore creatures and stuff, and I wouldn't need to fly over the top. I don't know if I need to sideboard, like, kind of at all. I could see playing a couple of negates. Hawkeye, didn't I just say the pizza's not for you, Hawkeye? Hmm. I don't think I really want to change anything. Nah. Like, yeah, yeah, we don't need to do anything. Shaper Sanctuary? I mean, they don't have a lot of things that interact with us. They have, like, um, just Chupacabra, Contempt, cast, out, cast Down, like, so those things we draw a card. Okay, didn't I say the pizza's not for you? Ugh. Let's get some hype votes in the, the chat for our new sub, Kuro Nato. Welcome, Kuro. Thank you very much. Hmm. This looks like a hand to me. <laughs> They'll turn one to rest, sure. You get half a quasi duplicate. Actually, maybe I should have kept the land war off there. Now that I think about it. Next turn, like, branch walker plus elf. That could actually be kind of good for us. Um, anyway, question was, um, any thoughts on a soul type pod deck? I do think that there are, I, like, I think if you're playing pod, I think that's a really reasonable, good color combination to play, uh, soul tie. I think there's, like, you have good three drops that you get to move into, um, you got good three drops that you, you get to, uh, pot into four drops. I think that's a really good uh, kind of chain there of the threes into fours with Soul Tie. Dang it, Midnight Reaper. I should have blocked last time. Really winning 
this race. Do you think Ooze is the best card for Teamer in the 5 slot? Maybe not. I could certainly see that going to um, Registore Alpha. Yeah, Registore Alpha is probably better. I don't know. Maybe one of those two. Hmm. So yeah, they have. Okay, I was gonna say they could they could cast down the branch walker in response, but in that case, we would you know they wouldn't have the cast down for the biogenicus. I haven't played any of the Nexi Nexus decks. No, I haven't played with or against any. Oh come on, another Midnight Reaper. Uh Let's do a Midnight Reaper. <laughs> Getting the upper body workout by defending the pizza. <laughs> yep. If it wasn't for Midnight Reaper, I'd really like where we're at right now. Because they are at 12. I'm at 5. Alright, that's a good, really good trade for us. Get that thing out of here. They, of course, with one land drop, they can crack Folly and play another Midnight Reaper, but they may have something better to do. I mean, we gotta get Midnight Reaper out of there. So otherwise, I have to like you know keep blocking these stupid branch walkers. All right, hoping no more cast downs. Oh yeah, I think you're right. I think it looks like maybe a finality. No, oh, okay. I'm not sure if I was supposed to play the Simigil Gate there. Could save it for the quasi duplicate, but I don't know if that's really worth it that much either. So if I don't play, all right, let's go. Let's get another Vivian in here. Let's take out the climb. Let's take out two duplicates for two negates. All right, I like it. So I have like I have like a quarter of a slice of pizza left. And Hawkeye keeps on jumping up and trying to eat it. And so I have to put him on the other side. And he then he just walks around me and tries to eat some more pizza. You think you're just gonna sneak on in here like I'm not gonna see you?
Yeah, nice duress against the blue-green creature deck. Oh yeah, Hawkeye is certainly putting up the effort. He's a hard-working cat. <laughs> I don't think you get to count the, uh... I don't think you get to count the dive down as a as part of the Thoughtseize bug. So yeah, we'll have like Frilled Mystic up or we can dive down. They have all swamps. They know about the Frilled Mystic. They don't know about the dive down. They know about like basically everything else in the hand except for the dive down. So if I activate Incubation Druid, and then they can tempt Incubation Druid or cast down in response, I don't have any protection for it. So I'm going to wait a turn. To, I'm going to wait a turn to adapt so I can be able to protect it still. We'd love to draw a Vivian, or a News, or a Vivian, or a Vivian. I guess at this point... At this point, uh, I guess I'm just countering the duress and keeping the dive down. And getting this going. Okay, here we go. Release of the win on Frilled Mystic seems like a nice idea. That is a nice idea. Ah, choop. Alright, can we not draw land off and land? Draw, like, real spells? That's a real spell. There we go. Deck's coming through. Okay, is this about to be 4-0? Oh no, they got green source. That's bad, that's bad. Ugh, more cast downs. Yeah, them only having one color doesn't really matter. Like they have, they had six black spells they got to cast. Like they're, like even though they only had swamps, that was like just their whole hand basically. So their, their plan is just finality, if they're making that block. Come on, Vivian. Yeah, they're looking at their graveyard if they want to find. So they just have find and find, they have find finality for sure.
We did draw the ooze. The ooze was a great draw. Besides that, we haven't drawn anything else like this whole game. Uh, we haven't, we haven't, have we lost, or no, we have lost the game if we have untapped with ooze. We did lose. Alright, four Vivians. One of our four Vivians, where are they at? There's one. Called it. Of course, you know, I've been calling it for a long time, but finally drew it. I don't track my win rate in constructed. Wild wasn't meant to be con Meet my newest friend. Ooh. So growth chamber can go get us more growth chambers. Every defeat oh dang! Is a new beginning. I should have. I, maybe I should have just taken the the mystic to protect it, but I don't know. Go get us another one. All right. Well, they're out of removal, so now we can draw another one of our four Vivians. We're at. 39 cards in library still. And they're out of stuff to do. That's a great draw. That's a great draw. That frilled mystic. Real nice. Do this growth chamber guardian card. Oh, yeah, this is the third different deck we've played today. Um, we're playing a fourth one also later, as you can tell by the schedule. We're playing Jund mid Jund, Jund Midrange after this. Uh, we have not built Jund Midrange. We will be doing that after this. Y'all get to help build it. Just like y'all help build this deck just a little bit ago. So I cannot activate Chamber Guardian and cast another Chamber Guardian and have Frilled Mystic available. Yeah, the Guardian's been Im just impressive every time I've seen it. For the most part, it's really good. And that's game. Get that counter spell in. And boom. All right, four and O oh with the ooze. 14 and one on the day. That's pretty good. Yeah, imagine if Squadron Hawk was a four, four. That's pretty strong. All right, quasi duple ooze. Finish it out. Finish it out. We got the final boss. Can we get to five wins? Oh. Final boss time. Yeah, we considered uh, re uh, repudiate, re replicate. Uh, that was in our first draft of the deck, or like whenever we're putting all the cards together, but it ended up getting cut because it just didn't have room for it. Also, there's just too many clone effects at that, at that point. You can't just have hands of lots of clone effects and no creatures, you know, because the clone effects won't do anything without it. 
You can find all my decks right above you. The link is right above your message of where can I find the Angels deck. It's that link right above you. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. And of course, you can you can watch these videos on YouTube as well. The Naya Value video is up currently on YouTube. And I just realized I forgot to start putting the Mardu Angels on there. I forgot to start uploading it. So now I'm uploading it right now. Ugh. Now wait till the weather warms up and I don't have this runny nose anymore. Yeah, sir, this has been a great win right today for sure. Um I'm not too far away of the 4000 hours watched on YouTube. I, I need a, a a thousand subscribers still on YouTube. Um, playing against Red, let's go in the graveyard, and we're only at six hundred and eighty-four subscribers. So that's that's the biggest thing right now. We're looking, trying to get towards that. I can tell you where I'm at minute-wise here in in just a minute. Actually, we're, we're basically at that 4,000 hours right now. Wow, yeah. Actually, just barely underneath it. So if you're not following the YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it if you do go follow over there. Thanks, 8-Bit Owl. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, and whenever we do get to the, the 1,000 subs, yeah, we're doing another 12-hour stream. Tomorrow, 12-hour stream, standard. Um, that's to celebrate our last emote goal that we just hit earlier in the week. Hmm. All right, Jade Light. Thanks, St. Trish. So I put the I didn't keep the frilled mystic because I thought that we were gonna be tapping out for the next couple turns with like ooze, Vivian, stuff like that. There you go, there's the link to the YouTube. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens on TG. Yeah, I do need to put it in the bio area. You are you are correct. I need to get that done. Hmm. <clears throat> Gosh, these chain whirlers. So that's, this I take six. We're certainly very close to dying. No one said rest. They just have removal spell for Branch Walker. I'm dead. Hopefully they draw a land here. It's like, they kind of knew it wasn't a spell. This puts us down to two. We need to hit like chain, or I've sorry, land where else. Break someone like you. Hmm. Not land where else. Yeah, the Chain Whirler killing some creatures is really big, you know, killing my Lana War Elves and and uh, Branch Walker. We need like a Lana War Elf there so we could be able to play Ooze plus Elf and have three blockers. But still, we're at we're at two, they're at twenty, kind of thing. Uh, 
All right, let me fill out some of this info panel for Mardu Angels. Just disconnect. No. Nope. Okay, so it was a pretty, pretty tough choice. Where to cast that lightning strike? They could have cast it at like a chain whirler or a goblin token. All right, so red matchup. We're bringing in wild growth walkers. Um, Sanctuary may not be bad here. They're like trying to kill all of our things all the time. Get rid of Llanowar Elf. Get rid of Hadana's Climb. Duplicate. Hmm. Don't know if I need all these Vivians. Hey, stream's going great today. It's going very great. Hmm. Yeah, Rex Age destroys Frenzy, which we have we have Vivian for that also. The problem is the Rex Age body against like Chain Whirler is so bad. Um so yeah, I think I'd rather have Vivian for Frenzy than Rex Age for Frenzy. Um the two on body. Which is not very valuable. I think I'm just gonna go with this. I could see playing some quasi duplicates. Is there anything I want quasi duplicate over? Like frilled mystic? No, I think I want that. Do I need one all four negates? Halo app with the sub. Sub number 23 on the day. We are two subs away from our next goal where we are gonna be cracking open. A Ravnica Allegiance pack. Yeah, four negate, two dive down, and a Shaper Sanctuary is certainly a lot. I admit. Yeah, the deck's on Stream Decker. It's right, right there. LeBron Tadon is a lot better against Mono Red, but I have Rex Age in the sideboard because of Quasi Duplicate. Um, because against uh, like the White Enchantment decks, we can be playing Rex Age, and then we can Quasi Duplicate the Rex Age and copy it and destroy some more stuff. Where if we sack LeBron Tadon, uh, then we can't really copy it anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pass here. Next turn, have Walker plus Dive down, and then presumably go second Walker, Branch Walker, same turn. Just Arena. Okay. So I know a walker could die to a coil now. But it's not really dying to anything else. I mean, you know, they could obviously have stuff like Fight with Fire in their deck. I don't think they do. Uh, 
Frenzy's about what our opponent's gonna need to kill us. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, Chain Whirler now with with the extra one drop, so Steamkin's turned on. So now they can Lightning Strike something. Yeah, the one drop Chain Whirler and then having mana for Lightning Strike, that works too. All right, 1960 pal. Take care. It's a, it's a pretty good turn four. I'll admit. It's pretty good. Wild Growth Walker is still just a ridiculous card, though. No, we did not sideboard in the Rex Age. I, I have Vivian's in the deck though. I still have three Vivian. Wizard's Lightning, are you kidding me? They only had one man at that time because the Steamkins hadn't triggered yet. And it was actually a Wizard's Lightning. Seriously? It's really disappointing. Dive downing the first lightning strike while the safe play was absolutely the wrong play. Just they have to hit another three damage burn spell to kill your creature. Plus the ne the very next card in their library has to be another one, and they have to have the mana for them at that specific time. It's just such a waste of a, a dive down if you just use it there, because the very next turn, like this game's gonna go on for a while, and like the next turn they can just have the the same thing. There's Playing the dive down to the first one is just not the thing to be doing. Hopefully they start hitting some lands in a row. Doesn't look like it though. Alright, so my plan here is Vivian, find some more explore things, um, just kind of take up, much more reliable. you know, be something the where our opponent needs to use resources on the Vivian. Frilled Mystic is pretty cool. Hmm. Frilled Mystic or Jade Light? I like both of them. It's not really going to be a blowout because they, they'll know about Frilled Mystic.
Yeah, I think it's Jade Light too. So, <clears throat> they certainly will know about Frilled Mystic. I could have just taken the other ooze, yeah, and maybe just believe in the oozes. Just try to be able to ooze into ooze. Come on, don't do it. Don't get four points. Don't get four points of damage here. Okay. So they still have six mana for now. Get another land. Don't they have lands in their deck? Again. Don't they have a land somewhere on top? Haha, I think they hit a land. Finally. I've had like three ridiculous turns. I mean, that was still just a really good turn. They played, uh, you know, uh, 10 mana worth of cards still. All right, so Vivian down. They've drawn 15 more cards than I have so far. And I've like done a lot of exploring and Vivian plus up. Like, you know, I've I've gone through the deck a decent amount and they've drawn 15 more cards by their turn seven. We've seen two lightning strikes, two wizards lightnings. <laughs> River's Rebuke would be so great. <laughs> Oh, uh, it would just be a whole lot more creatures. These Runaway Steamkin is just an incredible card. <laughs> the army of Sauron against just one girl. Um, like, is this... The block's just not even worth it. Let's do this again. It's too risky. I mean, the question is whether or not I play the Growth Chamber Guardian now. I think the answer is probably no. I'm gonna just wait till next turn. All right, they're gonna start blowing up the frenzies. No, they didn't blow up a frenzy. Maybe I just play the growth chamber guarding there to help protect Biogenic ooze. I played Jade Light there to get the Wild Growth Walker even bigger. Make it so they can't kill it. Or make it harder for them to kill it. Whichever you prefer. So five. So I need... I need two more mana before I can play Ooze and activate Ooze. So I might as well just wait for that. This final boss is pretty tough. It's usually pretty tough beating the final bosses. Uh. 
risk factor. So I guess I so I have him just draw three. So there are 22 cards in library. Can I can I mill them out? Stop. There's the first land. Get another land underneath that. Come on. Another land, another land. All right, they're at 15 cards. They're gonna have to go to discard. They, they can't play all of these. Oh, right, right, because they just reset the top of their library with this risk, risk factor. All right, they're down to 11. One strike, two lightning, two wizards lightning, two shock is what they have left. Well, there's the wizards lightning. So they have one strike, two shock left. All right, they're down to nine cards. Ah, they found the shock. Well, that's a problem. So they have eight cards in their library to my 40. Oh, come on, Chain Whirler also. I mean, well, it could all, yeah, it could be the stuff in their hand. So they have nine li nine lands in play. How many lands do you think they play? Like 22? If they have 22 lands, that means there's 13 other lands between all these cards in hand and the eight cards and the seven cards in their library. There's 13 lands. 20 max? 20? Okay. So there's 11 other lands in all those. All right. So 4-2 four, blocks 4-4. Four, four. Four three blocks, two two, three one blocks, two two. Take some damage. We're down to fourteen. He did attack with all. These the other creatures are summoning sick. They did attack with all. They had Legion War Boss in play though. Which is an annoying card. That you can't just hit the attack all button. Yeah, I mean, Ooze would have just died to any of those burn spells, and I, I didn't really want Ooze to die, which is why I was trying to wait. I didn't want Ooze to die, but... Um, I'm going to be dead, though. Ooze would not have changed this game. Yeah, they just discarded eight ma uh, all these from their... They just discarded those seven mountains from their hand. There. They're still hitting more spells. This is like, I think this is like turn nine. Our opponent's gone through their entire library with Experimental Frenzy on like turn nine. Yeah, they've they've just played a land every turn, so I think this is just turn nine. I think I missed a land drop. 
And I have eight. I think I missed one land drop. And they didn't miss a land drop, so they're at nine. Yeah, this is their turn nine. And they are at uh, three cards in library. That's that's just awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a better experimental frenzy. That's pretty remarkable. All right, four and one. Just means we get another match. So we got one more chance. Because either get the second loss or the fifth win. All right, quasi do blues. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there can be a better one, honestly. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, this is gonna go on YouTube, yep. Yep, there's my youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. It'll be on later tonight. While we're playing Jun Midrange, this will this will be going up. Yeah. It was that was an epic, epic experimental frenzy. Can't even be so upset about that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're hitting continue we're hitting the continue button. We lost to the final boss. We gotta hit the continue button. All right, op goes first. Um, our hand is not good. Op kept their hand. Hmm. I don't have the Jun list yet. We're gonna make that on stream together. Up next. Ooh. Um. Yeah, we're shipping it. I'm not playing an ooze deck to ship my biogenic ooze to the bottom, right? That doesn't seem like what you'd play an ooze deck for. Yeah, the Mardu Angels and the Naya, Naya Value decks you can find on my stream decker, streamdecker.com slash deck slash Todd Stevens MTG. Just put a link there in the chat for you. The Naya value is already on YouTube and Mardu Angels is being uploaded currently. Don't kill my elf. Tilt. Alright, come on, draw some lands. Ooh, we're getting lucky. We are getting lucky. Ugh. No. Hopefully J Light doesn't get countered next turn. Espa. Hmm. J Light's certainly getting countered. Hmm. Quasi duplicate the incubation druid? No. Thanks, games. Thanks, folks, games. What do you see as tier one right now, or what do you think will be? Um, it's kind of too early for us to say. Last format, the tier one decks were like uh, decks like Mono Red, Jeskai Control, Golgari, Is It Drakes. Um. Uh, mono white and mono blue aggro, or like Boros aggro and, and mono blue. Those, those were like kind of like the best decks. This standard format is certainly going to be faster than the last one. There's a lot of good um, aggressive cards and, and low mana creatures in Ravnica Allegiance. I think we're going to have a, a faster format overall. The mana is better uh, in the format with the more shock lands. That that also speeds the format up. Also. Um, but exactly like what decks are going to be top tier and everything. Uh, not sure yet. When you reveal a card and then draw a duplicate of it, does the opponent still see the original playing the, or will the duplicate still count for the tracker? As far as I know, the duplicate counts or like the other one counts of the tracker. Like if they like, let's say, all right, so they know about a biogenic ooze, but I, I like they know about this one, but I play this one. It should still be just fine for us. Okay, yeah, as long as they're from the same set. Makes sense. Alright, so this this turn I'm just activating the incubation druid. Hmm. 
Oh, play the breeding pool first. Dang it. Okay, good. No settle. Alright, we're just gonna kind of make them answer these creatures and have our frilled mystic available. That's a good point, Matt. That's probably just worth just always shocking. All right, let's keep attacking. And they're down to three. Back up to five. Don't think it's worth it to counter there. It makes like a sweeper on their turn a whole lot better. Um, I think my plan here is like hopefully they play like a Teferi. Um, we counter that. Like hopefully they play something like that Teferi and Eldest Reborn. Counter something on their turn here. Hmm. Well, them shocking certainly means they're gonna have to. Have, so they probably have removal spell plus counter spell, I suppose. Yeah, that's like Contempt plus Sinister Sabotage kind of mana. You think it's Chromium? Wow, it was Chromium. I did not expect Chromium. I will admit. I did not expect that at all. Which I, Chromium would have been a reason to play just just cast the Frilled Mystic on their end step to have two lethal attackers. Um, but yeah, yeah, Chromium cannot be countered. We need to move quick. Let's slow this down. That's good news for us. So they pass here. We have two lethal attackers and Frilled Mystic available. So they have to have they have to have like cast down plus essence scatter. Kind of thing. Uh, they're just gonna use a removal spell on, on end step. No, so yeah, they have like Contempt. They got to just tick up, draw a card, and then untap Contempt. Or whatever, you know, Mortify. Yeah, we have almost 2,000 people in here. Welcome, everybody. Hmm. Try to land. That's a huge tilt. I certainly really wanted to land with this play to be able to have Frilled Mystic up still. Deathsta with the resub. Welcome back for the third month in a row, Deathsta. I get some hype in the chat. Sub number 24. Thank you so much, Deathsta. Uh, I have not listened no to a public a service broadcasting. That's a British band? Okay. 
I'll have to check them out. Public service service broadcasting. Where was my Where's my pen? Good handwriting. Right. This is the problem with the quasi duplicate. It's very, very bad against removal heavy decks. These are like the cards that were definitely sideboarding out. You know, basically replacing these with negates. If these quasi duplicates were negates in this this game, we would win we would have won this game very easily. So I'm gonna get this frilled mystic out of my hand and actually counter something. No, I don't think there was an argument for countering when they drew three. I don't regret not countering that at all. The chromium was just like the the big thing that I just wasn't really expecting too much. That was a it's a really great card for them. Okay, let's try again. We're not beating Teferi there. So we're gonna have the Shaper Sanctuary, all these negates, an extra Vivian, and some Carnage Tyrants. All the Quasi Duplicates and Climb come on out. So that's 62 and um, I think, thanks Maskell there. I think, uh, I think it's either like elves or druid, like that kind of those kind of cards, or what I want to take out next. I think I may just take out the druids. Oh, I sideboard out a jade light. Oh, thanks. Yeah, get that back in here. Mobby. All right, so now we got to get three branch walkers. Hmm. Kind of like branch walker. We didn't. We have Vivian for the enchantments. We haven't really seen very much. I'm going to go two Druid and one Land or Elf. Maybe not the Land or Elf. Hmm. Maybe I had to cut one Biogenic Ooze just because I have 10 cards that cost 5 or more. It's just too many. I could also just not play the Shaper Sanctuary. It's because con <laughs> control is really good. <laughs> yeah, control is really good. No, we don't, we don't need Hidana's Climb. We're at kind of a tough decision here on just turn two. If we want to play, if we want to play Guardian on turn two, then they could just kill it. Then we have like nothing else for like a long time. sub thank you so much peaceful one of course if I wait they could just have counter spell so that's sub number 25 that means we're busting open a pack after this
I think it's very possible that Rampaging Ferocidon's on banned. I would put it at like 20% chance. So it's definitely possible, but I don't think it's likely. Hmm. If they have a removal spell, they probably would have just used it. Well, maybe they didn't. Maybe they wouldn't just use it. Hmm. Like, if they have a moment of craving or cast down, would you use it or would you pass? They would probably just pass. I'm going to not use it. I'm not going to pump there. I'm basically saying that I think it's kind of possible that they unban Ferocidon because I saw somebody get a Ferocidon as a card reward. That could have also just been a mistake as well. Yeah, it's Rampaging Ferocidon. 3 mana, 3 3 menace. Hmm. That uh, players can't gain life. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield, uh, its owner takes a damage. The creature's controller takes one damage. All right, 26 subs on the day. Thank you so much, Aphid Owl. I really do appreciate that. All right, so I go Frilled Mystic. They go Kaya's Wrath. For Kaya's Wrath, they need another White Source. I don't really have too many opinions on modern bands and on bands. I mean, I have a, I have a couple, but um, all right. So they would have had the white source. They're at ten. Kind of want to just cast this frilled mystic. I certainly like the land. Help us be able to play Frilled Mystic plus dive down. I like that. Um, I think the next band in restricted um, announcement is on Monday. All right, this is a close game. Let's see if we can uh, pull this one out. Come on, land. I really like a land. Ugh. I just want to be able to play Frilled Mystic and Negate. Any lands. So they play Kai's Wrath next turn now. 
And then I get to resolve Vivian, hopefully. You can certainly, you know, they'll have two mana left over, so they could certainly have negate as well. Sure hope not. Could just play Biogenic Ooze. And have two lethal creatures again. That's probably actually better. There's one Guildgate in the deck for, for mana-wise to be able to have, like, the number of blue and green sources that I want, like, with Thrilled Mystic and everything, and with, like, Quasi-Duplicate as a double blue spell early. Slow down. Hmm. I've lost. You can't stop nature. I just, I just want more lands. We still have the mana to play our spells. I'm just playing this Vivian out here just so we can tick up and hit some land drops. Because we need to be able to play threats and have these frilled mystics available. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, Simic looks pretty good. I have not tried a Gates deck. No. But yeah, Simic has been has been working out for us pretty well. Oh, come on, land. Where's a land? No one knows the wilds like I do. All right, so they. So we have a, a lethal creature here plus two counter spells. So they have to have like removal plus counter plus counter out of these four cards. Oh crap, chromium? Why is it always chromium? Why do I never think of chromium? It can't be chromium, right? They only have like one chromium. Don't chromium. It's just gonna be chromium again? No. Uh, I'm always so close to killing my opponent, and it never works. Uh. All right, let's go get another two drop. Yeah, I can kill it with second Vivian. It sounds like a good plan to me. Because otherwise, like, the Chromium will just attack my Vivian and so on. How this thing goes is So yeah, that was my plan, just kill with second Vivian. And so I had the three extra mana, so I went and activated the Growth Chamber Guardian. But now I don't have a lethal creature in play. Hurry! Yeah, if they if they want to give the the chromium hexproof, uh, it turns into a one one, and it had three damage on it from blocking. So turning it into a one one means it dies. Big error by adapting there. What 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 do you want me to do with that other three mana? That I, if I did not adapt, what was I going to do with the three mana with these with four drop, four drop, five drop, five drop in hand? Because this two drop wouldn't have been wouldn't have been in my hand. Okay. So you thought I had four mana. Gotcha. Dawnbringer? It's a tad annoying. I'm going to have to waste another Vivian. Certainly need to hit another land drop. I want to play Vivian and have four up this time. So we're basically just taking up these Vivians looking for lands. That's all Balance we've been doing. Comes. I guess I could wait a turn. No. Waiting a turn is not correct. Not going to let them gain the 5 life there. 
Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> Get that out of here. Now... Actually, I'm going to play the two drops instead of the Frilled Mystic. I feel like they just don't... They just kind of pass back. I feel like if I just hold up Frilled Mystic, they just kind of pass back. I don't... So I actually kind of just want to play the two drops and have the two lethal creatures here. Have them use some removal spells or a sweeper. Something like that. If I just wait till their turn, okay. So question is, why don't why didn't I just flash in both Mystics during their turn and ignore the Chromium when there's the Chromium there? Because I think at that at that point they just have like a counter spell for one, removal spell for another kind of thing. For old Mystic, I want it to be a counter spell more than a flash thing. Yeah, because even if they so even if they wipe the board here, then they we sh should hopefully still have Vivian uh, be able to take up and find us more things. I think they're, the longevity and support of Magic Arena uh, has a very good outlook uh, for the future. We crossed 2,000 viewers. Well, welcome, everybody. I have, I have never crossed 2,000 viewers before. So I really do appreciate everybody being here. Uh, this is kind of the... Thanks, ZDS. This is kind of like your first time here. Uh, my name, of course, is Todd Stevens. And this is what I do every single day. I stream Magic the Gathering. Uh, from 3 to 10 Eastern time. We have crossed over 10 Eastern time already. It's been a long stream today with these three Reverse. decks. And we have another deck after this. So, observant observer, I'm all 2,000 viewers. Have you played Paper in the past? Yes, I have. Um, I used to play Paper a, a lot. I've, not so I've, I've been a streamer. Point. I've been streaming here for the last... Uh, 29 months, um, so basically two and a half years, and I, I used to be, uh, travel on the SCG Tour. I was the SCG Tour Player of the Year last year. Um, so we got Bionic, Biogenic Ooze, and then a Frilled Mystic up here. And But now I stay home and stream full-time, and I, I really enjoy it. You know what? I'm not done yet. I found you by watching you wreck some people with Naya tokens in a duo's MTG tourney that was streamed on Twitch. Awesome. Thanks. I do always wear a tie. I, I like how I look in a tie. And so uh, this is how I like to present myself. They could, of course, have another Kaya's Wrath. They've already played a bunch. Oh, they've only played two so far. Ah, they did have another. It's unfortunate. No time for a break. KZPS played against you at a PTQ in Dallas. Congrats on continued success. Thank you. All right, so I guess we're just. Um. Wait, so can I wait for this to happen? All right, there we go. And then this. I'm not sure that two mana is really going to matter, but. Hey Todd, it's getting really late over here. I'm really excited to see what decks you come up with a new expansion. Thanks, Radical Guru. Yeah, tomorrow we're doing a 12-hour stream um, from 11 to 11 Eastern, also of of uh, just you know new standard here. If you kill Teferi, then they can't win. They lost their only win con with Chromium. I assume they have other... Wait, what was going on there? I assume they have other win cons, or like other Teferis. 
did it just did it just point my um it looked like it just pointed my frilled mystic at my other frilled mystic that's what it looked like like it looked like if my opponent would have just let that resolve um my frilled mystic was going to counter my frilled mystic that was weird Because it... That was weird. Huh. Oh, right. The Frilled Mystic didn't hit the battlefield yet. Right. Because it's it hits the battlefield and then, then I trigger. Yeah, then I target. Okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, right, right, right. Because it's ETB. Yep, yep. Okay. So it was just, just casting it. Yeah, my bad. Okay, um, yep, let's go ahead and keep this. All right, final boss. Best way to grind packs without spending money in this game. Um, save your gold and draft with your gold. Um, that's the, that's the best way to earn the collection without spending money. I would recommend waiting until February to draft because for some reason Magic Arena decided to not have the new set on for the gold drafts until February 1st. Yeah, the 5,000 gold draft, yes. Play the card. Thank you. Yeah, I played around Secret Pate last time. Yeah, they still have it. Now I kind of want to just have the dive down available as well. I do not want the Jade Light to get countered. No. I do like Jade Light quite a bit. deck you're most excited for with this new set? I'm not sure yet, honestly. Um, I really liked the Naya Valley that we played earlier. I've been, I've been really enjoying this deck, though. This has been a lot of fun to play, uh, the Simic stuff. Um, all right, Screaming Canuck. Thank you so much. I don't think they had another counter spell. So this is, um, so we do we have to get a pack after this one, right? I don't think we ever got the pack for getting to twenty five subs on the day. I don't think. Yeah, we updated the night value deck. Our sideboard was kind of, kind of all over, but it worked out pretty well. Um, we we did not play any white, the white aggro. We did not play against that deck at all, so I don't know. Hey Sly, thank you so much for the support. I think the Lavinia was at the 20 subs, I think. I think, if I remember correctly. Thank you, Sly. Hi, how much money does one need to spend to keep the collection up to date with this update? Um, I think if you want to spend, if you just want to spend money to get every single card in the set, I've heard that like $200 gets you every single card in the set because of how the new 
uh, rules work with opening packs. I I don't know if that's correct. That's just a, a number that I've seen. Hey, and Sly's keeping the party going with Gift and five subs out as well. Welcome everybody that's getting a gifted sub there. That gets our sub count all the way up to 32. So that means that's two packs that we are getting here after this. Sly, thank you so much. You are a wonderful, wonderful person. And a rock star. And I, I really do appreciate that. Yeah, it is far less if you spam sealed. That's what I did, Wimpy. Um, and yeah, sealed is the way to go there. In my opinion. You won't get all the mythics, but most of the rares. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Sly. Saying awesome content. Just came back into FGG. Your stream is very informative. And speaking of very informative, we just beat the final boss. We went 5-1 with Ooze Duplicate. Wait, no. quasi Dupla Ooze? Is that the name of our deck? quasi Dupla Ooze. The shame concede from the opponent. Let's get our prizes. Two rares. Two rares. The first two times we got Mythic Rare on common, and then we got uh, Mythic Rare on common again. Now Rare Rare on common. But whatever the rares are, I guess I already have them in my collection. We don't get to see what they were going to be. Ooze Duplicate is better than Quasi Dupla Ooze. End boss defeated. We have defeated three end bosses today. All right. Let's celebrate by getting a couple packs. We're getting two packs of Ravnica Allegiance. We'll crack them open here. All right, first pack, first rare. Revival Revenge. Not the best one. Not the best one there. And our second one is... <laughs> oh, they were quasi-duplicated. They quasi-duplicated the rares. Oh, no. They're, these these rares are getting duplicated. Why did I play the quasi duplicate for this? Uh, yeah, our only loss was to the that experimental frenzy, just ridiculousness. By turn nine, had gone through their entire library, which is pretty ridiculous. All right, radical guru, have a wonderful night. Yeah, I may not have a lot of rares left. Um. Because, yeah, I, I even stopped updating the collection thing there. Um, okay. So we're going to play a Jun deck up next. Whew, it's already 1030. All right. Oh, yeah. So uh, I guess last last thoughts on the Quasi Dupla Ooze. The deck was a lot of fun. Um... We never did play the Hedonis Climb. I'm not sure if that's really necessary. Maybe... It didn't really seem like it was necessary, to be honest. I think next time I'd play this, I think I would try the Dream Eater as a one-of over the Hedonis Climb um, to have another good creature that, that's good at, to quasi-duplicate. Another thing you can play at uh, instant speed to go along with the Frilled Mystic. Um, and also some more interaction for the opponent. You know, We didn't really have much interaction. So I think that would be kind of a good thing to kind of change here. Um, besides that, I kind of liked what we had going on. Didn't really seem like any other too big of problems yet. We didn't really play against, you know, like the mono white aggro. That's that's got to be a tough matchup for us. I know there's like a whole lot to do with these kind of color, uh, this kind of color situation. But there we go. All right. If you were watching this on YouTube in the future, thank you so much. And uh, please hit that subscribe button, of course. And I'll see you for the next video.